Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. that the teams can choose to do in the two and a half minutes. They don't have to do all of them, they can pick and choose and do it in the order they want to do it. Today is a fabulous example of creativity and community partnership, which is a sort of hallmarks of what the Long Island Children's Museum is all about. And today, we, this weekend, we have the Lego um, weekend planned, and it allows children to come in and to see, to be inspired by children just a little bit older than them um, in terms of creating uh, solutions to everyday problems and to be able to spark their interest and hopefully be the people who will pro solve problems for Long Island in the future. First is giving a message to the children to get involved in science and technology both gender free, both boys and girls are encouraged. Uh, the high school students work with mentors that are out in the field, engineers, uh, software engineers. We have two of our teams, one an experienced team and one a brand new team here participating. With the LEGO Robotics we're building a, uh, a, an autonomous robot that's doing a series of missions in a two and a half minute time frame. Uh, it's made completely out of LEGO, spawn, LEGO parts um, with using the LEGO Mindstorms NXT brain motors, sensors to build and do these various challenges. I think this exhibit is, is one of the best ones because it allows kids to see what other kids are doing. And especially kids that are advanced, they get to see and say, oh, I can do this too, you know, but I need X, Y, and Z to do it. So. For the first LEGO League, you're um, nine to, from age 9 to age 14. The junior first LEGO League is 6 to 9. We're going to be going to the um, Long Island Qualifier being held in February uh, 6 and 7. And then uh, from there, uh, a, the winning teams will then move on to all compete at the uh, Long Island Regional Competition. And then from there, there's a chance to move on to the uh, World Festival being held down in Atlanta in April. One of the things that the Children's Museum tries very hard to do is to be a community gathering place and to make sure that all children have access to the museum. So what's happening here today is that people who may not have been to the Children's Museum before are drawn because of Legos. They have the opportunity to explore the museum and the Lego League has the opportunity to attract more teams. So it's a great win-win partnership. 